I don't even know how to start this. I knew this movie was going to be good, but I was not expecting this good. Holy, holy crap, guys. We have possibly found the best animated film, not just of this year, but possibly of this entire new modern generation. I loved this film, and as for Blue Sky's final movie, yes, I know, it's not technically their film, it was, re it was released by Annapurna Studios and distributed by Netflix, I know, but this was 75% done by Blue Sky before Disney closed them down, which is why you see Blue Sky's logo on the thumbnail of this video, because this is still Blue Sky's movie. Annapurna just stepped in to finish the job. It even says it in the, it even credits the entire Blue Sky animation team in the credits of the movie. So this is a Blue Sky film. Just want to put that out there. And, um, yeah, this is the best movie they've ever done. I mean, I, I like the first Ice Age. I loved the Peanuts movie, but nothing has hit me from their entire filmography like this has. Nimona is a phenomenal, fantastic, outstanding, just perfect film in my eyes. Perfect. Like, it's a phenomenal movie, and I really do not want to give too much away. So, all I'm going to do is that I'm going to read off my written review that I have that I have on my Facebook, and then I'm going to just finish off my overall thoughts, praising the movie, and giving it the final score it rightfully deserves, and cluing in you guys where it may or may not fall on the best list this year, because, yeah, I can tell you right now, this is at least going to be in the top five. So, without further ado, here's my written review. One of, one of the most unique, gripping, dark, funny, moving, emotional, cute, creative, groundbreaking, progressive, fantastical, wild, and fun animated movies that I have ever seen. Blue Sky Studios, you truly went out with a bang. Stellar animation, fantastic characters, with the exception of the one job character that, well, he doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, so I'm not going to dock points for that. Outstanding writing, powerful messages, wild action, a great story, insanely good soundtrack, legendary voice acting, especially from Chloe Grace Moretz, in what's possibly the best performance of her entire career, a perfect pace, a great runtime, high entertainment value, an uplifting, beautiful ending, sharp writing, mature themes that don't feel, too, that don't feel forced, they feel natural and flow into the story beautifully, Outstanding humor that always hits, like seriously, every single line that comes out of Nimona's mouth had me either chuckling or laughing my rear end off. Like, this movie is funny. Like, it is so funny. A tone that perfectly balances quirky and fun with dark and emotional. And one of the best LGBTQ relationships in any film ever, period. Yes, this is an LGBTQ film. If you're going to be a racist bigot about it in my comment section, there's the door. Get out of here. I'm not dealing with your crap. And not just the relationship, but pretty much the all the main players in this story are LGBTQ related. Like, we have a relationship between two guy characters. And then we have Nimona. And they are absolutely the allegory of an LGBTQ character trying to find some purpose in life despite being, you know, called monsters and alienated and isolated by everyone around them and finding fun by being rebels. That's the simplest way I can put it without going straight into spoiler territory. Um, I can't believe that Disney almost canceled this. Yeah, seriously, Disney, screw you and your racist turd a whole freaking butts for for canceling this movie because this could have gone down history as one of their most incredible films in years it could have but they just had to go be racist bigots and they kicked and then killing blue sky and axing off the movie 
And thankfully, Annapurna stepped in so we could actually get the movie we all wanted to see. Because, yeah, this is absolutely a movie that everyone needs to see. And I know what I'm probably about to say is going to tick off a lot of people. And I actually have a little update thing, uh, piece I want to say about this. Um, sorry, Spider-Verse, you have been dethroned. Especially considering the fact that apparently you abused and horrendously treated all your animators during your production of the movie. Yeah, I'm, I'm not giving you any credit for that. Heck, I might drop you down to a 9 for that. Like, seriously, that is inexcusable. I, I refuse to support a film that treats the animators so horribly. Because without the animators, you have no movie. Period. Yes, you have the writers, the voice actors, and the story writers, and all that, all that shite. But without animation, you don't have an animated film. Plain and simple. So stop treating them like garbage. Treat them like human beings with decency and respect. Okay. Okay. And yes, that this has a message for you too, Netflix, because I know you've been purging animation off your platform for what. A year and a half now? Yeah. Stop doing it. Or it's going to end up sinking your entire corporation. Just saying. But yeah. Sorry, Spider-Verse. You have been dethroned. As of right now, in my personal opinion, Nimona is the best animated film of 2023 so far. And until Mutant Mayhem arrives in August, I cannot see it being topped anytime soon. It is one of the most enjoyable, fun experiences that I've had this entire year. And looking at it critically just made it even better with all the in-depth layers and messages and LGBTQ connections. Like, heck, RuPaul voices a character in this movie. I kid you not. So, yeah, this is a phenomenal movie. And I hope this keeps pressing forward to getting more... LGBTQ, LGBTQ relationships like this in our movies and not force crap like in Velma. Just saying. I hope that this is a sign that we're getting more well-developed, well-written, and honestly, emotionally powerful relationships in, from LGBTQ characters because like any human being, no matter what, your gender, your age, your sex, your religion, your color of skin, your preferences, your your vices, anything like that. You deserve to be treated with respect unless given a reason to not be otherwise. In other words, racist bigots. Seriously. All the racist bigots, um, right there. I'm not doing the actual things. I don't want to get flagged, but right there. But yeah. Everyone, unless they're given a reason to, deserves to be treated with respect and decency and kindness and compassion and understanding. And not have to be isolated and treated like garbage. Sorry, I'm probably getting too deep into this, but this movie's themes is literally exactly what I'm bringing up. So, in a way, it still fits the review. Point is, treat everyone equally unless you're given a reason not to do so. A good reason, not just being a racist bigot a-hole, okay? Nimona is a phenomenal, fantastic, outstanding movie, and I cannot recommend you guys to see this any more than I possibly can, seriously. Even if it's just for a single day, get Netflix, watch this movie. It is a movie that needs to be seen and definitely needs to go down history as one of, if not the best animated film of the entire year, period. So, all my LGBTQ plus supporters and actual people in the community, prepare to stand up and applaud because the final verdict from Nimona is a strong, undeniable 11 out of 10. 11. Yes. Full score. Breaks the scale. Absolutely fantastic, phenomenal, outstanding movie. And if you haven't seen it yet, what the flying flip are you doing? Go watch it now. And this better be getting an Oscar nomination for Best Animated Film, or so help me, someone's getting kicked in the pants. <laughs> Just wow, man. What a phenomenal movie. I, I cannot do this movie any more justice. You need to go see it for yourself. 
and please, please be respectful in the comments section, okay? Please, I don't want to have to turn it into a fight against racists, alright? Just saying. But yeah. Animation fans, you're gonna love this one. Blue Sky fans, you're gonna love this one. Netflix fans, you're gonna really like this one. And the LGBTQ plus community, you are going to adore this film and probably prop it up there as one of the best animated films we've gotten in recent memory. And even though I'm not part of that community, I support you guys and I'm putting it on that pedestal too. So far, undoubtedly, the best animated film of 2023. Plain and simple. If you disagree with me, sorry. I respect your opinion, but sorry, you're wrong. <laughs> Okay, that's me. I'm going to shut up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later today because you're not done yet. Because tonight you still got one last review. And this one's going to tie into our next theme month. And I think you guys are really going to like this one. And it, it kind of contrasts with the month I literally just did on Cynical Saiyan 77 for those of you that watch both channels. I'm not going to say what the theme month is. I'm just going to tell you what the next movie you can look forward to seeing me review is. So, I'll see you next time for Batman vs. Dracula.